popcorn movie reaction showdown back with more classics. Now listen, normally I'm a 70s and 80s guy. That's like and, and beyond. I don't really go further than the 70s. Not much of a 50s, 60s kind of guy. But I, I've known about the birds my whole life and I've never seen it. I've seen clips. I've seen the lady in the front. I think she was in the phone booth. I've never seen a movie about no killer birds. And I kind of like movies like that. Where the rabbits and the horses and you know, whatever, the spiders. and I like stuff like that. This is Showdown's version, reaction of the birds. It's a little talking here and there, a lot of cussing, and I'd say, what, what, what's going on with me, okay? I've been calling all morning. Oh, Miss Daniel, you have no idea. They are so difficult to get. Really, they are. Okay. Full grown. And he'll talk? Oh, yes, of course he'll talk. Well, we know Ray Burbank trained birds. I wonder if you could help me. What? I said I wonder if you could help me. I understand completely. At, at the same time, I wouldn't want them to be too aloof either. No, of course not. Yeah, just bottles walking around town and shit. Is there an ornithological reason for keeping them in separate cages? Well, certainly. It's to protect the species. She can't get that bird. Oh, she about to lose him. What did you say? <laughs> I don't know you. Ah, uh, but I know you. How? We met in court. I merely believe in the law, Miss Daniel. I'm not too keen on practical jokes. Okay. Pressure you, white Charlie, darling. Would I try to pressure you? Would you call the Department of Motor Vehicles for me? Find out who owns this license plate. Miss, is that for Mitch Brenner? Oh, shit. Yeah. He's not home. It's uh, an hour and a half by freeway or two hours if you take the coast highway. Oh. She got some plans for old Mitch. Looking at the names, I always got to let people know because folks assume I've seen the movie before if I start saying names. God damn, oh, she went. Oh, she crazy. What's going on? Oh, you didn't know this man. He must have left a hell of an impression on you. Fucking race car. I can't tell. Good morning. Good morning. She went all the way out there. The two kids? Yeah. Mitch and the little girl. Oh, I see. How do I get down there? Through an outboard boat. Oh, of course. Want me to order one for you? Well, thank you. Oh, you can take a boat? Lois. Alice, ain't it? No, it's Lois. It's Alice. This is so interesting. I ain't even seen no damn birds yet. Save yourself a lot of trouble. Name's Alice for sure. Can I? <laughs> no. Well, we done spent a lot of time with her going to find Mitch. <laughs> she just drove down to the coast. The one who lives in the White House across the bay? Yes, that's the one, Kathy Brenner. He seemed sure it was either Alice or Lois. Are you a friend of Mitch's? No, not really. Are you planning on staying long? No, just a few hours. Oh, then you're leaving after you see Kathy. Oh, pretty. What are they? Lovebirds. She is mighty interested in Mitch. She's going through all of this. Her car is bad. That's a bad little car. I couldn't fit in it, but it's nice. She's gonna do the boat. She's gonna take the boat herself, huh? She is crazy. Oh, 
Oh, she crazy as hell. She must know a thing or two about a thing or two. She got a purse, the birds, and her car. Damn, she is like adventurous. She looking for Mitch to give him his lovebirds. The lovebird. You called me? Do I look like I called you? I can't tell at the time. She done snuck in the house and dropped the damn birds off. What is she doing? Okay. Damn, she she is proud of it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's her. Oh, shit. Can't get the motherfucker going. Boy, look at Mitch's sweater with the scarf. Oh, shit. <laughs> this ain't no love story. It's a movie about the birds. Do that. That's the damnest thing I ever saw. I don't know. It seemed to swoop down at you deliberately. He come out with a scarf and a sweater. Oh, shit. Yo, she fucked up, man. Take her to the, I don't know, the town store or something. I don't know. That's the restaurant. Okay. Some nosy-ass people in your town. Jesus Christ. Helen, get uh, some cotton and antiseptic. Oh. Uh, yeah, they got cotton and antiseptic like that? What are you doing up here? Didn't you see the lovebird? She drove all the way up there. How long are you staying up here? The weekend. You really like me, huh? I loathe you. Already invited her for dinner tonight. Why well, look at her like that? What is it? Uh, certainly, but... Oh, and it's all settled. What time is dinner, Mother? Seven o'clock, the same as usual. Still stop stuffing. We'll be waiting for you. How's your head? Oh, much better, thank you. She really like him. This movie just starts out with Melina just... Oh, hi. Did you find her all right? Yes, I did. <laughs> well, it's utilitarian, I'll say that. May I use your phone? I'd like to call home. I just put some coffee on the stove. This woman just... I'm intrigued with her, like... And her instinct was like, I'm, I'm a, oh, he, he ain't home? Oh, he down the coast, huh? And just went. The chickens won't eat. Oh. He sold the feed to me, didn't he? That little girl. You're quoting the law, dear. Never mind the law. I gotta see her face, but if she is who I think she is. Good, the chickens won't eat it. They're always hungry. So maybe your chickens ain't hungry. No, Fred, they don't seem sick at all. They just won't eat. He put a suit on. Back then, he just put a suit on for dinner at your mama's house. Then you knew Mitch in San Francisco. Is that right? No, not exactly. <laughs> Mitch be hanging out with gang members back in the city, up in the city. He spends half his day in the detention cells at the Hall of Justice. Wow, that's crazy. That little girl grew up to have an issue with cherry seeds. He was watching a ball game on television. What? His wife changed the channel. Oh, won't you come? Won't you please come? And she played the piano. She's a charming girl, isn't she, Mitch? Hmm? Yes. Certainly pretty. I just said that. Hey, I don't know her. Yes, I know. She is the one who jumped into a fountain in Rome last summer, isn't she? Will I be seeing you again? San Francisco's a long way from here. What did it say? 
said, Dear Mr. Brenner, I think you need these lovebirds after all. They may help your personality. You don't expect me to believe that. Oh, do I don't give a damn what you believe. <laughs> I don't give a damn what you believe. I want to go through life jumping into fountains naked. You know, pissed off. Thank you. Well, I suppose it doesn't offer much to the casual visitor unless you're thrilled by a collection of shacks on a hillside. Oh, a friend invited me up for a weekend a long time ago. Oh, I didn't know that. Come on, spill the tea. Well, maybe there isn't. Maybe there's never been anything between Mitch and any girl. Why did she object to you? Because she was afraid. Afraid you'd take Mitch? He'd just been through a lot with Lydia after his father died. He didn't want to risk going through it all again. And what are you doing here in Bodega Bay? Yeah, what we'll make you come back down? He still wanted to be near him. No, you love him. You move all the way down to this town for somebody you ain't even dating no more. And you're bad. Sure, hold on. Oh, shit. It's Mitch. Mitch ain't got no problem calling over there for her. He, he's moved on. She don't like that shit there, boy. Her afro tight? Tight. Is that zoom with her in the front? That's, is that Alfred Hitchcock style? It's a full moon. Clean thread. She got the same shit she had on yesterday, of course. Hey, yo, Melody is about it, but she don't give a damn. <laughs> She got the same outfit she had on yesterday, all the way out there to see Mitch or not see Mitch. I don't know. She ordered the lovebirds. This is crazy. In the underworld, I suppose. I shall disappoint you. We're sending a little Korean boy through school. It's one or two of the words I've picked up at Berkeley. You need a mother's care, my child. Damn, it's been an hour? Where are the birds? Well... Maybe I ought to go join the other children. The other children? Oh, wow. oh. oh shit, I asked for the birds, here they come. <laughs> Get out of there! Oh, they fu Would you take the blind photo and somebody help the children? <laughs> they running at you. Get her! <laughs> so like cats. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, get the sandwiches. Don't leave the sandwiches. Damn. Oh, shit, she got a fucking convertible. Would you like some mustard with that? No, thank you. Oh, shit! Put the meatloaf and tomatoes down! Bitch, get out of the room! Cover your faces! Cover your eyes! <laughs> Shit! Man, y'all don't get the fuck out of there, y'all tripping! This dude got a handkerchief. Oh, shit. It's been three minutes. And the mama just standing there in the corner. Well, the birds invaded the house. What's more likely, they got in the room and was just panicked. Well, you got quite a mess here, I'll admit that. I'll take Kathy up to bed. I think I... A lot of people don't like small town living. Uh, I love small town. Because I don't like people. I'll be in there. Thanks. Oh, shit. Damn. 
I love this man. Oh. Oh, they took his eyes. <laughs> I'll take it. That was a good run. She was fucking speechless, bro. Oh, man. Your mama is dropping fast as shit and burrow. Hit the brakes. Get your mama. Get your mama. Oh, please. Uh, yeah, y'all dating? Y'all should be. Y'all looking together. It's about damn time. She been wearing the same shit for three days. Go buy her outfit at the corner store. I got some fisherman dresses or something. I don't know. <laughs> she had that green shit on. Where the laundry mat at? I wish I were a stronger person. Ma'am, can't nobody handle no shit like that. Well, I ain't gonna say nobody, but that ain't long enough, so I know you're still going through that. I don't even know if I like you or not. Uh, yeah. Why wouldn't it be to her, anyway? I don't want to be left alone. I don't think I can bear to be left alone. I feel so much better. I'll go right now. I feel better with you going, even though you got to walk out there. I feel more better with you going to check than I do. Biggity biggity banger. You're hitting that crizzle. You're hitting that, that you got that crizzle on there. I know, I know what you got. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh! Oh, lordy, 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 lordy. Okay, take it easy, Melanie. Everybody gets ready. I'm back to my shoes, too, but listen. Then run as quickly as you can. Now, does everybody understand? Yeah. Well, run home. <laughs> Them birds is about to eat y'all asses up. Them birds are about to munchy, munch, munch. Oh, my God, this is Man, look at that shit! Oh, shit! I simply can't leave now, Daddy. All right. Yes. Goodbye. They're both poaching birds. Your dad said, ah, well, you're going to fight the birds. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Bracker in course, and the He didn't say he was coming to get you or nothing. Birds are not aggressive creatures, miss. They bring beauty into the world. It is mankind. Sam, right. three. Yes, all it's right. The end I'll of wait the world. till you hear. I hardly think a few birds are going to bring about the end of the world. Scaring the kids. Keep it low. Yeah. But he's scaring me too. <laughs> Motherfucker got me scared. I don't know what. You and Mr. Shoals seem to be implying as much. Who said anything about a war? All I said, some gold. Want some more coffee? No. Came down on one of my boats. A war against who? Against Bert. I'm glad you all think this is so amusing. Well, then let's leave now. I haven't finished my drink yet. <laughs> <laughs> Did he wink at her? This movie's hilarious. Because I just got back from Dan Foster's place. That's yes, and why. he was killed last night by birds. That's right, sir. I recall it. A large flock of seagulls got lost in the fog and hid it into the town. So you fed your drinks, we go? They're attacking again. What the hell are you staying here? Come on, Al. They're attacking again. I'm getting the fuck up out of here. Oh, it's the bird cats. Oh, shit. Shit, that shit about to blow. Hey, you! Get out! Get out! Don't get drop that man! Get out of there! Get out of there! Get out of 
mind the effects. If I'd have saw this back then, I'd have went crazy. So this is how she ended up in the phone booth. He was spraying what you th Oh shit it's Oh shit Burn on his ass Girl you better get your ass back in there What the fuck? Uh-uh Nope you can't come in here buddy I mean, the door was right there the whole time. She couldn't see it, though. All the women. I think you're the cause of all this. Man, get your crazy ass out of here. I'm a regular ass woman. <gasps> Don't call me up my name. <gasps> that shit is crazy. <laughs> Oh my god, they caused some havoc out there. Where your mama at? Oh, can't go in there. Oh shit. Oh no, who that? <laughs> Damn. Oh my god. Fucking birds killed Annie. She left with y'all down the hill. She sent all them kids down the hill. And... No, baby, she went back to the church. Come on. <laughs> Shh. Oh, about fifteen minutes. Yeah. So what y'all plan on doing? Did you get the windows in the attic, Mitch? Yes, I got them all there. When do you think they'll come? I don't know. If there are bigger birds, Mitch, they'll get into the house. Damn, what the fuck did these birds want? Why are you opening up the door? Go sit down! Sorry, Mitch. Y'all really have no you know answers on how to deal with these damn these damn birds. They're gone. The birds. What the fuck is that? Where the fuck are y'all going? Why are you opening up the door? Go sit down! <laughs> Melody, why would you do that? Get the fuck out of here! Oh shit! Yeah, I thought she was dead. Oh, I'm going through it. Oh poor thing! Poor thing! No! 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 It's all right. No! It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Your mama going through it, man. She's scared and... What the fuck? Where the fuck are y'all going? Most of the townspeople have managed to get out, but there are still some isolated pockets of people. Damn. Oh, shit. I 
Oh, my shit. He got to sneak through all these damn birds. Me out. I'm dead. I'm gone. You got me. Goodbye. There's a back seat in that car. Now why would you bring them damn lovebirds out of all the shit y'all done been through? Damn. They were probably the only ones left in town. And then the birds just go right the fuck off. That was fucking brutal. The birds. 1963 horror thriller Manila the Birds. Alfred Hitchcock, I think that was him in the beginning of the film with the ducks. Wow, man, he died, the school teacher. Damn, that's crazy, them birds. They didn't waste no time getting to your ass, neither. How he fit all of them in that two-seater? Where the, where the, two, where the back seat come from? Wasn't no back seat in there before that little ass car. But I'm glad they got out. Yeah, I enjoyed the birds. The birds, I like the birds. Birds come get your ass. They're all coming to get you. No explanation, none needed. It's a bunch of birds. That's the explanation. <laughs> I have classics if you're looking for them. I have 70s and 80s. I'm leaving them right here. Ooh, there you go. Don't forget to subscribe. And of course, we got more movies to look at. Until next time, it'll be that time. <laughs>